Hey everybody, Dave here. How y'all doing? Guess what? It's not April anymore. It's actually May the 5th. Cinco de Mayo. You probably watched our May 5th episode going, yeah, that kind of st sunk. You guys didn't do anything about Star Wars. Well, we recorded it way early, as you all know. So, there's that. And as always, I have with me on this side of the screen, Greg. How are you doing tonight, Greg? Doing very well. Happy Revenge of the Fifth Day. Gotta stick with Cinco de Mayo. My wife is Mexican. You've turned her against me. It doesn't work. It doesn't no, work I when know. it's my family versus Star Wars. I so. know. I know. Still, it, my favorite. It's probably my favorite Star Wars meme: the Revenge of the Fifth slash Cinco de Mayo meme. If you haven't look, seen it, look it up. It's, it's a good funny. meme. Maybe if I can uh, swing some things, maybe I'll, if I can find it, maybe I'll just stick it in here somewhere. That sounds good. Uh, so how are you doing? I am doing all right. It's been... Sorry for that, everybody. There was a spider crawling on my mic. I was going, get out of there. <laughs> I know it's been a few weeks, but really? You had to take up residence already? Anybody else hide down in here? No, it doesn't look like it. So we should be good, I hope, maybe. Uh, I encounter them way too often out here in the garage that I, uh, that I would like, including one that I actually had to, one that was so surprisingly big, I had to use a hammer. <laughs> wow. Which, um, that's, that's very rare, but uh, I mean, it, it, not, that it was kind of a little over dramatic. I think it was just a big wolf spider. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's like the only time that's happened here out of like the 10 years or so that I've been here. So it's not like a, a regular occurrence. Man, I hate it when the smoke goes down the wrong way. Mm. Speaking of smoke, what are you smoking tonight, Greg? I'm smoking uh, Stockabee's uh, Luxury Navy Flake in my uh, Ben Wade Canadian here. How about you? I'm just smoking a simple uh, little basket pipe from a local pipe shop, and in it, just uh, some double down. It's a, just a straight burly blend. So that's why mm -hmm. it didn't go down quite right when it got down the wrong hole there. Yeah. But I've really been enjoying Burleys lately, so... Uh... So yeah, it doesn't matter. I just choked a little bit. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Burley is always a, a good, uh, good blend. So I have uh, yeah some news. Yeah, the wife's doing well. She's walking around, no cane. She's, I'd say, at about seventy-five percent. Doctor says that he will probably not need to see her again. So that's all all good stuff. Excellent. Yes, especially you know, considering when you're dealing with uh, scary terms as a, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, well, anyway, uh, I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that uh, her uh, her knee is doing better. Yes. It was just a weird thing, you know? This is an underlying problem that another problem fixed, so she's happy. Moving around again and Still hobbling around a little bit. The dampness, like we've had, I don't know what the weather's been like where you're at, but we've been pretty damp the last week, and that's really been setting her off. Yeah, I know that uh, weather can kind of affect that uh, with, with people, with their joints, uh, especially if uh, it's already kind of on the tender side. Gotta love that. Uh, changing weather same thing goes with like allergies or like uh 
and, and headaches and stuff with like the pollen and everything. Oh yeah, they're a real pain in the butt. Yeah, so with you know taking care of five people and uh, and whatnot, and doing all the housework and laundry and everything, I'm kind of run down myself, but not not too too bad, you know. It, it, it's good. It's a good feeling. Now that you know the the work starting to get split a little bit more equally, mm-hmm. it's a good thing we decided to record a few in advance because there would have been no way we could have we could have kept yeah. this up. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm sure it was uh, kind of tough to juggle all that. Yeah, uh, to even think about doing anything podcast related. Just oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, much. absolutely. It would have been hey everybody, Dave. <laughs> Yeah, I've been there. I've been there. For those of you who are listening to the podcast and not watching on YouTube, I pretended to fall asleep. (laughs) (laughs) And I realized after I did that, it's just going to be like, hey, what happened? (laughs) Oh, yeah. So, like, we're recording just before Mother's Day. 2021 our second mother's day in this crap that's going on in the world yeah that'll be uh the first uh mother's day for my wife with my son born i uh i got her a card last year uh but uh you know it'll be and it, you know it's special for that occasion and everything but i i'm excited for this year um i think uh in the neighborhood uh, we're having an event happen where uh, there's going to be a bunch of uh, food trucks outside of uh, a VFW hall. So uh, that should be a lot of fun, especially since we've had uh, last year as kind of like an event, uh, the community brought in like a food truck like every couple of weeks from around the area. And uh, that was a lot of fun. It uh, introduced us to a lot of cool uh, local uh, restaurants that we hadn't really tried before, uh, so I, I really enjoyed that. And I'm, it should be fun to do uh, for Mother's Day with both my wife and my mom, who's going to be coming up. Nice. We decided to break the law for Mother's Day this year, and by that I mean we are going to be going out to visit my mother and my grandmother since they live like 250 feet away front door to front door on I think Saturday it's a good thing this doesn't come out until the following Wednesday because well yeah I broke the law but I'm not there now I'm here (laughs) you see we are in total freaking stay at home order shut down till like 20th because our third wave oh my god no you people that are making these decisions on the waves and stuff in Ontario you're wrong we're not in a third wave we've not had a third wave this is the second one because the first one didn't quit when you opened up the first time Uh, I'm sorry I've only heard a frustration from people that live in um, Ontario. Well, you see, with with, with Ontario, you know, he's trying to do things that he should have done, you know, a year ago. Mm Mm-hmm. And, well... Too little, too late now, man. You might as well just open it up, let everything, let everything ride. Because at this point, people are going to get sick. People are going to die. If you want to drive, drive it out now, just let it run its course. That's that's my feeling on it. And there are a lot of people out there that agree with me. Mm-hmm. But I guarantee yeah. you this: Doug yeah. Ford will not be our premier come whenever we have to do another election.
Now, there's a couple of governors that are kind of uh, going to be in that position, I think, uh, come the next election next year. The ones that are up for election that year anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I see all but a whole bunch of political upheaval over all this COVID stuff. No matter whether you agree with what your government's doing, whether you disagree, there's going to be a changing of the guard. Yeah, definitely. I mean, already in uh, California, they have enough signatures to uh, recall their governor there, and they're going through the process of that. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I imagine, uh, I think our governor might have a little bit of a difficult time, but not as difficult of a time as uh, California's governor and uh, Michigan's governor and uh, New York's governor. And probably Kentucky too, considering uh, he appeared at the uh, Kentucky Derby this past weekend and uh, when he uh, stepped up to the mic and started speaking, the entire crowd booed him. Yep. But that's enough COVID talk. There's enough of that going around. I don't even look at my news feed anymore. Well, that's I probably for the better. Well, I did last night just to, just to see, because, you know, ever since last year, March last year, it's been COVID everything. So I decided to see in found the, the the most recent stories stories on the most recent feed and only one of them was a couple days old so I ignored that one and uh, the oldest one other than that was 10 hours so I decided we just my wife and I we decided to see how many stories in a 10 hour period were posted that weren't covid related the answer is two I believe it so unless you're a wildfire or what was the other one? I don't remember what the other one was, but one was a wild, a wildfire and something going on in an Ireland that wasn't COVID related. But other than that, nothing else has been happening since March, 2020. Interesting. Yeah, I heard, I heard something in Ireland where um, some guy got uh, essentially, uh, I think he recorded the police or some uh, something doing something they weren't supposed to be doing. I, I, I could have the uh, facts wrong, but uh, essentially the police came and uh, arrested him and it was like a big news. Uh, I'll have, to, I'll have to double check on that, so don't quote me on that one. Don't worry, I won't. Someone else will. <laughs> sure. Um, oh yeah, uh, I mean it's. I mean that's the news. It uh, it feeds off of fear and uh, and everything. And uh, most news companies right now are kind of st going into the gutter thanks to. Uh, people getting their news elsewhere so uh, they're just trying to go for what uh, you know go for what sells of course okay 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 I just remembered over the last uh, couple of weeks we, we actually have some housekeeping to to do. I just gotta gotta get to it. Oh, of course. I don't have that app installed on this phone. But we have a couple of couple of new subscribers. Oh, nice. We're getting ever closer to that one elusive 170. We we were there for a couple of days and then we weren't. 
So I think, you know, it's one of those things where YouTube has kicked somebody off again and they'll realize, hey, I've lost syndicated. I got to go resubscribe to them. Right. I think once we get to 200, YouTube sends us a picture of what a silver plaque looks like. The silver play button. I already know what the silver play button looks like. I've seen other people's. In person? No. Or just or just their videos. Just yeah. their videos. All right, here we go. All right, so back on the twenty first of April, which I think was one of our, our very first pre-recorded dates. Yep, yeah, it was it was the day after my wife's surgery, so that was definitely a pre-recorded one. Uh, we had Ernest Picasso subscribe to the to the show. Thank you very much. Get some from Twitter. Do you paint? Hmm. No, I just recognize the name. Uh, he's a follower of mine. Mm. Hey, well, how's it going? Well, Ernest, if you paint, great. You're you're making making your name, you're living up to your name. If you don't, well, at least you're not going to cut your ear off. Or was that somebody else? Uh, was it no, that was, uh, that was Van Gogh. Oh, Van, Van Gogh. Gogh kind of oh well. Uh, Picasso was the one that drew, drew all like the cubes and uh like people mm, uh, right 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 people right right right, in, uh, different right. Shapes. okay and um just yesterday on star wars day we actually had uh, a channel looks like called or called the it's called ray views i'm assuming it's a guy named ray who reviews things if, if that's the case that's a great pun i like it Absolutely. If I'm wrong, I'm totally sorry, but I still like your name. <laughs> so just yesterday. So yeah, great. Thanks so much for for coming out and, and subscribing to the channel. We, we really appreciate it. That's why every time we get a new one, we shout you out. At least those of you who, you know, let it be seen. Yes, thank you. Thank you to everyone that subscribes. We really appreciate it. So do we have any other uh, pieces of uh, housekeeping to do? Mm. No, not not really. We had a comment on uh, one of the videos uh, not too long ago. It was actually from Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Hmm. So when that, I know that I know the driller. That was Seth that you that uh, that uh, that uh, commented on on that one because. His Scott comments from either Aristocob or himself. Mm. So yeah, we 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 saw it. It was uh, one of the, it was the off the Haruk video. So appreciate nice. that. Um, yeah, so that's really it. Like, and you know, no, no, nothing nothing spectacular. We haven't all of a sudden jumped to jump to a thousand. We can't monetize. We haven't made that hundred thousand yet either, so no uh, big old gold play button with the with the, the really nice sponge that comes with that. Can you imagine how much they would have to grit their teeth to uh, <laughs> send us a plaque like that for a uh, podcast that is half about uh, talking about pipes and pipe tobacco? <laughs> yeah, I know it'd be great. <laughs> Not likely to happen, but I'd love it. It would be great. Make it to 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> Here comes the big old gold play button. Syndicated Pipe Club. Take that. And even better, because 
it's technically my channel because I it was when I started uh, years ago. They have to send it across the border too. <laughs> Take that international shipping. So what did you want to chat about tonight? Oh, I don't know. We just anything, everything. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, trying to think. So uh, last weekend, uh, last week at my uh, bagpipe band practice. Uh, uh, after practice, we all kind of just like hang out afterwards and just kind of chat and stuff. And uh, uh, it was down to like uh, just a couple other guys. And uh, uh, for some reason, the the topic of uh, smoking came up, and they asked if I uh, smoked. And that was when I finally uh, kind of revealed that I smoked a pipe. And actually, it got uh, pretty positive uh, feedback. I think there's nice. one guy that you know. You know uh, there was one guy that was kind of like in disbelief and everything, but uh, you know, everyone seemed to, everyone else seemed to kind of be like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." And there's a uh, uh, the guy that does the um, he's the drum major of uh, of our band. He actually enjoys uh, pipes and cigars, so uh, he's like, "Yeah, you should bring your pipe next uh, at the whenever we go to a Highland game." So. Uh, you know that's pretty uh pretty cool I, you know I, I figured it wouldn't be like that like uh, big of a deal or anything but uh you know you never know how people react or anything but uh no it was uh it was very nice and uh appreciated good good it's Oh well, yeah, no. My my uh my situation like I said, you know, the last 2 weeks has been nothing but uh housework. Housework, housework, housework. Thank God I didn't have a job to go to on top of it. I'd had to take some time off. Yeah, no, it uh I couldn't imagine especially with uh what, yeah, juggling, you know, juggling four kids boys. and an injured wife. Yeah, that. Ooh, it's been three boys on top of it. Makes me wish we uh, had a fenced-in backyard because I could have just sent the boys outside and here you go, go outside, play. That's yeah, too bad. Well, it is what it is, you know. Mm-hmm. Were you able to uh, find any time to enjoy a pipe during all that time, or is this your kind of first pipe since sun? Oh no, 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 no! I went. I was able to carve out like, carve out enough time to uh, pop onto the this pipe life uh, uh, group. Still, it was uh, it was all right. The first one, like the first week, it was okay. I stayed on for the regular time. It was just for, it was just me. Uh, uh, Sergeant Danner and uh, and Modi for that one. Just the three of us. It was a it was a, it was a light week, but it was a nice weekend. Yeah. Like the weather was nice that weekend, and you know you guys over there aren't aren't aren't, aren't as locked down in a lot of places anymore. So things are opening up. You got things to do. You can go do. So yeah, there was that. And last week was more along the lines about what you expect. You know. Uh, Jim, Modi, myself, Danner, I can't remember the other guys. I can't what was on there and Oh, Mike Michael, I can't remember your name if you're listening. So sorry, your last name anyway, but one a newer guy that's been coming for a few weeks. Maybe nice. a couple months. Um But I just you know just kind of sitting there listening, not really participating because I was by 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 last Friday I was just dead tired. Right, and then my internet 
decided to cut out right then and kick me off. It was just a brief blip, but then just enough to shut everything down. And I just didn't want to get back on. I just went to bed. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, no, I'm I'm looking forward to when I can kind of jump back into that a bit more regularly. Yeah. I know every every week we, uh, you know, end our, our chats and everything, and I make the hope of being able to make it, and then just by the later in the day, it just never seems to happen. But uh, I will be back because I miss... Uh, miss all those guys and I miss uh, hanging out and chatting because it's all, just a lot of fun there's there's nothing quite like that camaraderie that you get with uh, you know fellow uh, pipe smokers and being able to just kind of talk about the hobby and everything yeah and it's always great when you, you, know, you, you never know you, you also never know who's going to be on I mean if you know, if, right. you, if you've never been to one of these things and, and you, you think you might want to, uh, just drop a drop a line, a comment in the video uh, and whatnot, and I'll get you the link. It's open to anybody. Yeah, even uh, like even though the forum is for people that are in the United States only, and even if you're an American and you're traveling abroad, you can't get in. That's what VPNs are for. for. Yeah, well, shh! Don't tell the internet. It was, it was a little too complicated, a little <laughs> too, too much to deal with with just a simple uh, week and a half trip in Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, you know, if uh, you know, even though if you're, you live outside of the states, but you want to enjoy, uh, you know, a virtual pipe club, uh, there's this is a great one, and uh, we would be happy well i say we when i haven't been there in, in a couple of months but uh, i mean i was enjoying it uh fairly regularly until uh, my son was born and that, that kind of put uh you know made things a bit more difficult to to do that but uh, uh i i will be back you know when when things are a bit easier to uh to get away essentially yeah so yeah, there was that I've uh, got a few ideas uh, for uh, bringing uh, Maple City back uh, back to life um, I was doing a monthly post there for a while and then you, you know how things get things happen and yeah. you just they, they then they just don't but I've got I've got a couple ideas may start making some of those again just doing some batch recording, maybe keep to the monthly monthly schedule and record twelve and let them ride. Yeah, no, I think that's cool. I know I need to revitalize my blog because it's kind of been neglected since, uh, well, really since the first of the year, uh, just because of uh, it's difficult <laughs> to. Uh, juggle so many different uh, projects and hobbies and uh, plus trying to learn the bagpipes and everything so uh, I just uh, and you know it's kind of been nice to kind of take a little bit of a break and actually I am uh, starting our, uh, my pipe band uh, they have a new website because it's their 100th year of uh, being a pipe band and so uh, like one of the things they have now is a blog and I volunteered to kind of put some stuff on there and so that's my latest project but uh i'll i'll definitely be putting stuff back on uh my blog Ho hopefully this month because i don't want it to go six months without an update that'd be bad yeah and uh just today i was actually able to record uh record a. Uh some gameplay footage for for my gaming channel for the first time in a long time since well since my daughter was born actually nice. so that was nice uh, 
just started up a new Minecraft uh, world, and I was just uh, getting the, showing off the new the starter home, and I, I built a storage building, and that's gonna go up. Uh, that's gonna be part of my editing projects on Monday, so that should go up on. Uh, probably, I'll probably put it. I'll just probably keep to the releasing everything on Wednesdays because that's what I've been doing. So just everything goes out on Wednesday. Makes it easy. You schedule it all in one day and just be done right that reminds me I need to just uh, spend some time in uh, Minecraft uh, and just kind of figure all that stuff out and then be fun to be able to kind of do like a, a co-op kind of like a stream or something just for fun yeah, it would be. It's it's strange, like I don't know, like uh, I, even though like I grew up with video games, like what, for some reason I I just have a hard time like getting my mind around like Minecraft. I visually I like I love the aesthetics and everything. I love the blocky kind of uh, look it has, and uh, like it's a cool game i think it's just one of those things where it's there's so many like little uh, it's just that crafting system i think that i really just need to kind of spend some time with or spend some time with like kind of like pre-made worlds rather than like a, a newly generated one and just kind of explore with that first before yeah I, yeah you can you can absolutely do that i i I haven't figured. I'm the other way. I've, I've spent. I've spent so much time. I, I figured out, you know, the crafting system uh, a little bit, a little bit here and there. And uh, I've spent so much time just generating my own worlds and building my own stuff. I haven't taken the time to figure out how to download worlds and uh, just go walk it around. What other people have done. Yeah. So I know my nephews do that, and they'll like enjoy having a lot of fun just kind of uh, messing around with uh, stuff that's out there yeah because I know like I know like people like streamers like well the hermit craft group for example it's a group of about 13 uh Minecrafters from all over all over the world, and uh, they they play together on uh, one server, and they make some amazing things. Um, I've been following four of them throughout this seventh season here, and uh, I know that they uh, go and they put the world downloads out so that you can download the worlds and uh, go when they're done the season and go in and you know find your favorite things from particular episodes and see what everybody's done whether you've been following them or not that's, that's one I want to download and and do but I just haven't quite you know figured it all out yet right because I mean like this season, um, the one uh, the one guy I'm following, B Dubs, you know, I'm watching his videos. I just caught up to current actually, but he's been building a medieval world. Like he's got a big old castle in the background. He, he built it up high and he, he put it on a he custom built a hill, um, like a mountain basically. Custom built it and uh, he's got uh, a little medieval village down down at the base of the the mountain and he's got paths and he's putting in little landmarks for you to, to, to find uh, your way around uh, for in the world download when it's available great stuff that's cool yeah I, the one thing I really appreciate about the game that uh, I like is just the um, the exploration aspect of it and uh, like I really got into um, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild a couple of years ago, and I'm still, I'll pick it up and kind of make a little bit of progress here and there with it, and uh, 
my favorite thing about that game was just kind of uh, running off and just uh, exploring everything out there. I remember um, I actually went to a, I was invited by Nintendo because I've, uh, when you have been a lifelong uh, customer of Nintendo, like I have been, and you send them like all the stuff that, you know, whenever they ask for like information, you send it back and stuff and you get on their records and stuff. Occasionally, like uh, usually whenever like there's a new system that comes out or something, they'll uh, host a preview event mm -hmm. and invite mm -hmm. you. Um, I wasn't able to do the Wii U one, but uh, they invited me for the Switch. And so uh, a couple of weeks before the Switch came out, me and uh, my friend Marcus went down to Chicago and uh, I got to go to this event. And uh, one of the games they showed was Zelda. And that one you actually had to kind of like sign up for like a time slot for. Gotcha. And because uh, they had a uh, specific uh, for that. I mean, each game kind of had a, a person watching over it to kind of explain it to you. And uh, with the Zelda one, they, they had kind of uh, told you like, uh, kind of like suggestions of what to do, but you weren't forced to do it. And with me, like I initially just ran off and I was just like, ah, I, I think I'm just, uh, cause I was actually writing uh, a, a website uh, asked me if I wanted to, since they knew that I was going to this event, they asked if I wanted to kind of write a preview event for them, you know, cause they were like a smaller site and everything. And I was like, sure, absolutely. And so for me, my goal with that was just to, just see as much of the game as possible rather than just uh following the instructions and uh man like it was so just amazing to just run and run and run and just look around and you know that, that game is so big it's uh it's just astounding and uh and really, like, for me, like, the way that I like to play, I like to play with, like, a guide and mm -hmm. kind of, like, because I don't really like the feeling of being lost. But uh, with with Breath of the Wild, even though I would I would look stuff up, like, on, on where to find certain things, for the most part, I would just have fun just, like, kind of looking at a un, uh, part of the map that I hadn't been to yet and just be like, okay, I'm going to go over there, climb that mountain and see what's, you know, around there and everything. And, uh it really just felt, uh, it was fun. Like I, it just allowed me to play in a different way than I normally do. And I think Minecraft too kind of has those uh, elements too, of just like, uh, especially when you go into like a newly generated world where, you know, you're just like, okay, like I want to see everything that, you know, I can do here. Yeah, I did about six or seven episodes on the gaming channel where I uh, just generated a world, built a small small hut, you know, got myself a boat and some food and just took off and randomly I would just build huts in certain places and just dirt, you know, dirt huts, nothing spectacular and go off and just explore, see what, see what features I could find, you know, might, yeah. uh, might bring one of those, bring, might bring that back now that I'm a little more, uh, a little more versed in the game because you know i built uh the, the in in my latest one the one i'm working on right now i just built uh a starter house it looks exactly basically like a villager house just off the off the cuff so just uh with a few little flares and whatnot that i picked up from watching hermitcraft videos and whatnot and yeah, just I'm thinking I might do that. Just you know, pop little cabins in the woods, basically, and things like that. And just when I get bored of the spot, take the pick up the bed, pick up the uh, pick up the inventory, and uh, and move on. That's cool. But I think I'm gonna wait before I do that um, again till the. Caves and Cliffs updates completely out over this year, because it's gonna change how the cave system works. It's gonna change how the how the mountains look, how the hills and whatnot are generated. And there's gonna be mountains, and there's gonna be new mobs, and a whole bunch of new little features. You're gonna be able to. Uh, um, I guess there's gonna be this thing, this pouch that you can get that works like a shulker box, where you can just put stuff in it and 
you can carry that around with whatever whatever's in it is in it and then you can put that in one inventory spot and it, that stuff's always with you so yeah work like a backpack you can go backpacking that's pretty cool so yeah I'm just waiting for uh for that to, that to happen and then I think then I'll start a series where I just generate a generate a world and it's for nothing but exploring that's cool and I think that'll uh, I think that'll uh, it's a, that'll be fun fun little project to do Yeah, and and the fun thing about it too is like you can just, you know, you know, you know, you know, don't you, you can either do it in creative mode or you can do it in survival mode just to give it a little bit of more more flair. But you can always, you can always use the cheats and give yourself the stuff you need for your for your for your uh, for your th for your initial uh, initial start. So you, you got your backpack, you got your you got you got some initial things, and then you can always improve from there if you want, or you just. You know, go through the world, and or you can just you know cheat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's funny because uh, I, I enjoy watching kids play that game. Like uh, my uh, friend uh, and his family came over uh, like two months ago or so, and uh, they always want to play games on my Switch. Uh, and uh, they uh, started playing around with Minecraft, which I don't think they play Minecraft at home or anything, but uh, they're just kind of messing around with my version. And uh, it's just fun to see them, <laughs> you know, like they'll, they'll just go up to like an animal in the, um, in the world and just start like punching it or something. And then, <laughs> uh, you know, the, the little things that, you know, you do and, and just, uh, listening to them just do something and laugh and uh, uh, just kind of exploring the, the game is uh, entertainment in and of itself. Oh, one of the things I like to do as a parent is uh, my, my oldest son, he's he, he ends up having a lot of the same interests that I do. So he uh, he'll get on the computer. One of the one of the ways we've been keeping him as an incentive for doing his schoolwork and whatnot is he earns Minecraft time. So he'll go on. Oh, nice. he's, he's got a couple of worlds that uh, he's generated, both in the Java edition and in the Bedrock edition. But what I like to do is to go in after him and just look at what he's done. Mm -hmm. And it, it's kind of fun because <laughs> we actually, he started a world and I got looking around and I go, man, this looked like it'd be a good world to fly around in. So I regenerated it, recreated the world exactly. And, uh, I just every once in a while when I go want to go around fly around uh, some interesting uh, interesting things in the game I just uh, pop onto that world and just give myself a uh, inventory full of rockets and fly around until I'm done and it, it, it's it's really fun but uh, the the treehouse that I made in the game and the treehouse he made in the game in the exact same spot look totally different. That's cool. No, that's uh, I like that they can do that where you can kind of uh, take someone's world and uh, without you know messing it up or anything, you can just recreate and do your own things with it. Uh, that's a really smart system. Uh, it all kind of reminds me um, of an episode of uh, the new DuckTales. Actually, um, I don't know if I, I talked about this or not, but there is a uh, an episode where uh, for like the minor subplot. Uh, uh, Huey, who in the new version of uh, DuckTales is this like, uh, you know, each one is uh, to kind of differentiate from the, the three nephews now, they each kind of have like an extreme of one of uh, Scrooge's personality traits. And so that uh, Huey's is that he's like really intelligent and he's like the one that's like really into uh, like the Junior Woodchuck kind of like stuff. And uh, Dewey is the adventurous one, and Louie is the scheming one. Um, and so, but uh, in this episode, uh, Huey and his uh, mom, Della, and uh, 
launch pad play a uh, this game that's kind of a mixture of uh, Minecraft and, and Zelda. And uh, Launchpad and, and Della are super into like the adventuring aspects and like fighting monsters and leveling up and everything. But uh, uh, Huey, who has I think playing been playing the game the longest, like he's been playing it uh, just uh, as like a, a, like a farming simulation where he's like built a little house, made this like whole bunch of like uh, farming communities, like and safe within this bubble from all the monsters out there and everything and he's just content with uh, doing all the agricultural and uh, scientific stuff in the game and uh, it just kind of uh, it, it's a fun episode but it reminds me of just uh, like with a, a game like Minecraft that the different things that people look for and can find it and uh really get to enjoyment out of it and it's a, a special game that can do stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah okay well I think we've uh, put together a good episode here hope you all that are watching and listening agree but I think we're going to call it this is uh all this talk about Minecraft has made me want to go and do some more Minecraft before I go to bed tonight. So I'm going to leave you all with that. And uh, if you want to follow us throughout the week, you can always find us on Twitter. I'm uh, Dr. Alien 201. Oh, let's see. Uh, Greg, where can, I know you're on Twitter. I saw you liked one of my tweets earlier today. Yeah. Uh, it comes in waves. Uh, I've been addicted to like this cell phone game, and so it's been eating <laughs> up a lot of my, a uh, lot of my time. But uh, I, I'm trying to get back into keeping up with Twitter and and everything. But uh, you can follow me on there at the underscore Badger Piper. I'm also on uh, Instagram uh, with the Badger Piper, all one word, and. Uh, also, my blog at uh, thebadgerpiper.wordpress.com. And if you want to just, uh, drop us a line, you can either comment in the video or please email us. Somebody email us at reverseflashtime at gmail.com. I don't think anybody has ever emailed us. It's really getting annoying holding that e email open, but we need it just in case. It's there. So please, somebody use it. But with that, I believe we are done for today, so I will wish you good smokes, great entertainment, and we'll see you next week. Have a good night. Chat with you later. <laughs> <laughs>